Hi YouTube, Bria here from Etched Actuarial and in today's video I'm talking all about three indications that you can look at to see if you are ready for your next actuarial exam. These three things really apply to exam P, FM, and IFM and these are things that my team and I actually watch for for members of the study strategy program. So if you don't know, the study strategy program is my program where I help aspiring actuaries just like you to pass their first actuarial exam or many people come back after they've passed an exam to pass their second or third exam with me as well or with me and my team. We all do this together and it's amazing amazing experience because really it's an opportunity for you to figure out exactly what you need to do to prepare for your exam. You have everyone monitoring your progress, making sure you're on the right track, all that sort of stuff. It is just an amazing program for anyone planning to take their first actuarial exam. But the things that I'm going to talk about today are things that we look at. So I think they'll be really beneficial for you because these are things that you can monitor yourself. They are goals that you can try to achieve while you are studying for your exam too. If you decide not to join the study strategy program of course and they're just going to help you determine whether you really are ready to take your exam. Without further ado let's get into these three indications. The first thing is that you should be scoring 70% on practice problems when you're up to a month away from your exam. Now let me explain what I mean by that. It means when you take a bunch of random practice problems, let's say you do 15 practice problems in a row, you should be scoring at least 70% on those or getting 70% of them right once you're 30 days from your exam. In the study strategy program, members do question blocks and question blocks are sets of 15 practice problems. They're completely random and my goal is for members to eventually be getting 70% of those problems right before they move on to more difficult steps of their study strategy. Let me show you right now how that works. So these are what our question blocks look like in the study strategy program. They are sets of 15 practice problems. And as you can see here, I have the, at the beginning that members are just aiming to get 50% or higher. But as they keep doing more and more practice problems and more and more question blocks, and by the way, there are tons of question blocks here, I've gradually increased the score that they are aiming to get. So here, they aim to get 50% correct, and as we go down further, they're going to aim to get 60% correct. And as we keep going down, they reach eventually 70% correct. So that is how we track our scores in the study strategy program. And as members go through these practice problems, they either indicate that they get them right or wrong. And once they've done that for all of these questions, they will have values in here and then our sheet here will automatically calculate their score and in this case only 47 percent of the problems were right but as someone that is only 30 days from their exam we'd be hoping that they'd be scoring 70 percent or higher on their question blocks so once you are scoring 70 percent on your practice problems then it's time to move on to practice exams now, my goal for members of the study strategy program is to make sure that they are getting 80% or higher on practice exams. It is really, 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 really important that you do tons and tons of practice exams. And if you're not reaching 80% or higher by one week out from your exam, then honestly, I would be a little concerned. 80% is a really good benchmark. And if you're reaching beyond that, then you have a really good chance of passing on exam day. Now, when I say exam conditions what I mean is there's no distractions you're doing this in a timed setting so as you know exam P and FM are all three hours long so you want to make sure you're timing yourself just like you would be timed on the real exam and also there's no formula sheets take all those things into consideration you want to make sure you are doing these exams in exam conditions and you're getting 80% or higher on those exams and that's a milestone you want to reach by about one week before your exam. If you're doing that, 
I would feel very confident that you're in a good place. Right now, I'm going to switch to my computer and I'm going to show you what our tracking system is like in the study strategy program so that you can get a sense of how you can track these scores yourself. So we love to have members track the scores that they get on their practice exams that are done in exam conditions. So we have this tracking area here where members can put the date that they take the exam, the exam that they took, the number of questions they got right, and then their score will automatically be calculated. Now, once this is all filled in, which it's not right now, we actually have a target score here, and the closer a member gets to their exam, the higher the target score is going to be. So for someone that is just doing their first or second practice exam, then they will probably have a target score that's fairly low. But as exam day gets closer, we're going to increase their target score so that it's closer and closer to 80% or higher. And that's what we're really aiming for members to do is score higher than 80% on their practice exams. The third indicator that really signifies to me that someone is ready to take their exam is that they are scoring consistently over 80%. So in the last tip or the last indicator, I suggested that you need to be scoring 80%. Now, some people might interpret that as if you score 80% once, you're in good shape. That's not the case. You have to be scoring consistently over 80%. So that would mean about three or four exams out of maybe six. So if you did six exams and you got over 80% on four or five of them or more, then that's a really good indication that you are ready for your exam. If you happen to take an exam and you get really well, you score really well on it, but all the other ones you're doing less than 80%, then that's not good enough. You have to consistently be scoring higher than 80%. So those are the three indicators that really help me feel comfortable with members of the study strategy program taking their exam. So first is that they get 70% or higher on their question blocks or their practice problems. Second is that they get 80% or higher on their practice exams in exam conditions. And third is that they are consistently scoring over 80% on their practice exams. All those combined together really indicate that you are ready to take your exam. Like I said, this has worked for tons and tons of members of the study strategy program. If you head over to our reviews on Facebook, you're going to see tons of reviews talking about how this strategy worked for people, how all the strategy that we set out along with the accountability check-ins really help people in passing their exams. I would absolutely love for you to become a member of the study strategy program. Every day more and more members are joining and I just know that it's so so beneficial. It's really what I wish was around when I was taking my actuarial exams because I fell behind all the time. I procrastinated on studying and I had no clue how to prepare, but the study strategy program really eliminates all those problems because first of all, I give you a study schedule so you know exactly what to do every day. We monitor your progress to make sure you are performing as well as you need to be and we do accountability check-ins twice per week to make sure that you are staying on top of your studying. Those three things combined, they really help people pass their exam, and we will be using these three indicators to help you determine when you are ready to take your exam as well. I hope to see you in there. I will leave more details about the study strategy program down below in the description. And hey, if you are still watching, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear which exam you are planning to take next. If it's exam P, FM or IFM, I can definitely help with that. Bye for now.